My MVP for game day one was Ja Morant. He just, he has a 99 speed. He's way too fast. He was just getting to it out there. He was averaging about, I want Moments from now at Chase Center in San Francisco. Well, the weekend has officially begun and we welcome you to this 2K Sports presentation of NBA Basketball. Along with Steve Smith, D.A., take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Indeed it is. Thank you, D.A. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. The wing set for him, Levine and DeRozan. Williams and Vucevic hold down the post for him. And it's Dosunmu in at the point guard. And for Golden State, the core of this team all out there, Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Wiggins is out there with Looney. And a big issue for teams, Greg, this time of year, keeping players healthy for the long haul. Coaches, we're seeing, starting to adjust rotations, keeping an eye on guys' minutes. And, Kevin, it's such a long season. The teams have to keep the key players fresh. It's not a strategy everyone loves, but it's a necessary concern in today's NBA. And it's Green missing. Chicago with the ball. Oh, here's Dosumu. Here's Vucevic. And it's Looney with the rebound. Wiggins surveying the floor. And DeRozan sends it back. And he recovers it. To the paint. 
Here's Looney, and there's the second dunk to finish it off. Not just a score. Clay is also a capable passer who loves involving teammates. Outside DeRozan. Two minutes remaining in the first. Pass to Williams. Back to Levine. Dosunmu's shot is off. Warriors have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Most losing teams, Greg, are looking to rebuild, look to the future, but not in Chicago. Yeah, their idea to turn it around was to get all-stars. <laughs> Trading for Vooch in 21 during a losing season, then signing DeMar as a free agent. That's a refreshing approach. Chicago with the ball. They're getting their first look of the season at the Warriors in this one. A matchup that only happens twice a year. These interconference battles can be a lot of fun. The balance between Davis at the five as they go small. Patrick Beverly out there with Lonnie Walker. And it's Brown in at the three spot. And for the Bucks, Giannis and Lopez are the bigs. On the perimeter, it's Allen and Middleton. And it's Holiday in at the one. Tip-off goes to the Lakers. Well, we're more than a few games into the year. How much do we know about this year's rookie class, Grant? Well, it's still early. We have to remember, we might be a half year into a decade-plus career for some of these guys. So I think it's best to reserve judgment for now. An NBA career is a marathon. Here's Middleton. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. The 11-footer. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Are you serious? <laughs> what a sweet move. Broke his ankles on that one. And that knee injury sidelining Chris Middleton in last year's playoffs, Grant. How much did the Bucks miss his impact on the floor? Well, B.A., it was a huge loss. He's their main perimeter scoring threat. That's why his game complements Giannis so perfectly. Now here's Allen. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. Lana de Kumpo. And the shot goes. You know, inside, Yamas's length really helps him get by the defense. Not much they can do to trip him up or slow him down. He's a force. Here's Davis. In the game against Portland, very impressive. Good work defensively by Lopez. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Holiday against Beverly. Holiday passes to Lopez. It's Brown on the wing. James finds Brown. Now here's Beverly. We've got 113 left in the first quarter of the game. Allen inside. Walker covering. And Allen gets it to go. Got his man all tangled up. I mean, serious crossover. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. Pass to James. And it falls. Okay. Two for three from the field so far. Yeah, you know, LeBron is such a talent. Porter Jr. is the point with Green on the wing. The post pairing for him, Smith along with Shengun. And it's Gordon in at the three spot. And for Phoenix, Ball and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. Aiton is out there with Torrey Craig. And it's Bridges in at the three, the small forward. And Greg, you were talking about this. What you appreciate about this matchup, the team first mindset on both sides. Jabari very unselfish. And we're going to see guys moving the ball. And Kevin, they play for one another. That's why these clubs rack up so many assists. And so the Houston Rockets get the first points of the ball game. And here's Booker. He's been an incredibly difficult matchup for all of their opponents, averaging 29 points a game. Man, Devin Booker is a true shooter. A walking bucket, always ready to let it fly. And the proof is right there in the numbers, Greg. I mean, two seasons in a row, he's been top 10 in field goal attempts. So he knows how, when, and where to get that ball up. And talking about a franchise that has done a complete 180, look no further than the Phoenix Suns. Before 2021, they hadn't even been to the playoffs in 10 years. And stolen by Eaton. Booker the pass to Bridges, and it's slammed in by Bridges. And this kind of distribution is something that Devin Booker is only going to improve upon. 
Porter looking it over. The pass to Shengu. Paul with the steal. Down low. And Aiton throws it down. Chris Paul is going to find anybody that's leaning the wrong way, let alone leaving an open man. In just four seasons, Phoenix Gregg went from last in the conference to the best record in the entire NBA. It's been an unbelievable score. And there's a lot of talent on this team, not to mention a great coach in Monty Williams. The future is bright for this franchise. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And once the G League took it to another level, Green skipped college, became the number two overall pick in the draft. And that's really changed the landscape. Now here's Booker. And he really did play well against Chicago in that last game. And the three are Beal and Obvia. In the middle, it's Porzingis with Kuzma by his side. And it's Morris in at the point. And for the Hornets, Washington and Plumlee patrol the paint. Ball and Rozier are the guards. And it's McDaniels in at the small forward position. And some surprise teams that started out hot have not cooled down. Their fans are wondering if this is the new normal. Well, B.A., it's easy for fans to jump to that conclusion. But look, the bottom line is you can't look too far ahead. you got to stay in the moment and enjoy the ride. I wish I had done more of that when I was playing. Now here's Washington over Kuzma. And he can't bank that one in. Pass to Morris. Here's Avdia. And it's Jokic in at the center position. And for Atlanta, Young runs point with Murray at the two. Collins plays the four with Capella at the five. And it's Hunter in at the three spot. Well, we're at the time of the calendar when some teams go through a midseason lull. Graham, what has to be done to avoid that? Well, first of all, you have to keep your composure. You cannot panic. And, of course, this is when a coach earns his keep. Motivation becomes key. Keeping the players focused and making sure nobody starts coasting. Now here's Young. Playing Orlando, he was nearly unstoppable. Shoots from 12. And it's Denver with a rebound. And going against Atlanta, their first meeting on the year. These teams were similar last year, both in how they treated this head-to-head -head matchup and where they finished in the standings. Win one, lose one. This might be the case again for both teams this coming season. And guys, over the last several years, Denver's been top 10 in offensive rating. Now, they played a slower pace, but made the most of their possessions. One of the cases where Hype fails to tell you the whole story. Outside Murray. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. Gordon's got space. Plenty of room to knock down that one. Boy, this Denver team, great offensively over the last couple of seasons. How so? Well, B.A., they execute in the half courts. It's pretty simple. I mean, so difficult to do against NBA defenses. Now, normally they have multiple ball handlers on the floor, guys who can make quick decisions. Here's Capella. Perfect night so far, two for two. Look at the pass from Hunter, wanting to get his teammates involved. Murray passes to Porter. Here's Gordon. Rebound, Trey Young. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. About two minutes gone by in the first quarter. Here's Collins. They kick it out to Murray. Goes back up. And all around the rim that time before dropping. A lot of teams bait Murray into taking this shot, and he obliges by knocking it down. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Now Jokic, guarded by Capella. And the basket by Jokic. Jokic. Jokic has gotten his second bucket of the game. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Good work defensively by Gordon. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Here's Caldwell Pope. No good from outside. The Hawks have gone three of six from the floor. Pass to Collins. Hunter on the wing. Fires the three. 
It's not going to go for him. 